hello guys you're welcome thank you so much for clicking and thank you for staying to watch this video god bless you so in this video i would like to show you how to make an outro using intro maker app how to match this outro to your video upload it to youtube and then add an end screen all right let's get right to it first you have to download the intro maker app by going to your play store and then type in intro maker that is if you do not have it i'm just showing you type in intro maker okay i'm going let's search all right this is exactly the one that i'm using the first one that pink one is the one you will have to click on it and then install it in my case it's saying open because i already have it installed on my phone all right let's now go to my app let me find it on the screen of my phone all right so you click on intro maker once you get here you will check for the outro that you would like to use as you can see there are different types of samples that we have here and uh, please pay attention if you see the ones that are written vip on the top left corner please jump that is if you have not made any payment to upgrade if you are doing it for free just take the ones that are without the vip inscription okay so let me just uh, click on the outro to see all of the samples that we have okay like i said if it has vip on it jump don't select unless you have made the payments so in this case i'll just click any simple one that i like let me just choose this one for the purpose of this video okay i click on this one all right so this is how it looks like now let's add some text as you can see at the bottom of the screen there's text title sticker music pictures you can see these things in the video that i did on how to make an intro of how to add some of these things so i'll just add text what do we want to say thank you for watching or thanks for watching because the person has watched the video and now the video is actually ending that is why we are saying thanks for watching it depends on you again what you want to say once you do that you click ok now this is thanks for watching but obviously we don't like the way it, it, it is showing you just have to adjust it you can zoom out or zoom in depends on you how you want it to show and try to position it you can position it on top of those uh, squares the way you would like it to be i've not said done yet as you can see at the bottom of the screen there's layout there's design there's animation now you have to just keep on playing with all the things here depends on how you want your your text to show remember i said if you click anyone that is vip or that is locked here we have some that are locked it means you have to pay but i don't want to pay in this case i just want to do a tutorial if you click on the ones here this layout that have locks on them you have to upgrade so i'm not upgrading i'll just choose the ones that are free okay let's let's continue as you can see there are many of them that are locked let me just choose uh, uh, simple 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 okay maybe this one the way it is all right let's go to design as you can see even on the designs as well there are some that are locked so again choose the ones that are not locked just for simple and then yes there's design i've already picked the design layout we've already done it and uh, yeah animation this one it depends on you how you want it to drop like also some of these are also padlocked as well so just pay attention just pick the simple ones so i'll just choose this one it's coming from the side or you can choose that one that is dropping from the top it's up to you after we have done everything to your satisfaction you can click done but i just want to change the color because it does not look clear then i go back to layout again maybe i choose but it's so big 
anyway then you, are, you zoom out to to adjust it then you are satisfied you click done then as you can see at the bottom where the text is now you want to to drag it till the end it depends on how long do you want uh, this text to show for like this thanks for watching how long do you want it to show on the outro so i'll just drag it till the end of the outro you see it's easy you just click on the arrow on the end and just shift it like that the way you like left or right as you wish okay we have done that let's just watch how it will show if it's again you see how it's located it's just um, overlapping the boxes we just have to reposition it how do we do that you click on the text just below where it's written here i clicked on the text and then i try to zoom out and uh, you you shift it as you like you just by the touch of your finger on the screen where it is you just shift it uh, yeah i think this portion will be okay then again i think the text is too big maybe that is why it's it's like that i'll just let me just change it let me change it to here i think it's okay like this like this but it is blue and uh, the uh, let me do it like yes i think it's okay thanks for watching then you click done again Let's play it to see. But then again, if you can see, it's uh, watching is not showing. We position it again. Let's check the smaller text. We go to design, we check the smaller text. No, take this one, the smaller one. We check the smallest layout that will fit. All of those ones are big actually. Maybe this one, but it's blue. Anyway, you get the idea. Let me just say thank you. Let me just say. Oh, thanks for watching. Yes, thanks for watching. This is so big. It is so big. Okay. Let me click on the text. I'll just say thank you. So for it to just show. But normally you just choose the smaller text. But you get the idea. So I just want it to fit on top of this box. That's it. So that we can move on with the video. Then you click done. And again I said if you you check it out and you don't like how it is showing you can click on the arrow and drag it i don't want it to to show that quick so now as it is like this let's click okay thank you yes you continue but i would like to write something else on this uh, circle here you can still go to text maybe you write subscribe subscribe yes and then you position the subscribe and how you like where you want it to be i'll just leave it to be this color you get the idea that there's animation there's a design anyone that you choose you go there to pick so i leave subscribe like this then i click done and then i reposition it you just click on on the actual text and position it how you want it to be okay as you can see as you can see it's not under that uh, circle i want it to be you click on the box and start shifting it around as you like so for me it's okay here but then i want it to to be showing until the end of the video okay you click down always and start moving the arrows as you like you want it to okay until the end subscribe okay let's check it out now i'm playing all right thank you subscribe 
that is it this is how to do your outro now if you like you can always add the music let me just do it for it to be nice now bottom of the screen there's text title sticker then there's music let's add some music we just choose any 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 type it doesn't matter so again there's vip skip the vip jump the vip if you don't want to pay take the free let me just pick this one it sounds really dizzy i don't know it let's take something else take me to church maybe okay let's just okay I think this one will be okay. So, let's add this one. As you can see, we play. So, if you like the music, you leave it like that. You just click on, you mark it. As you can see at the beginning, there's a, like, a, like you cancel. Then there's play on your right hand side at the end of the video there's this mark like tick if you like the video you click there i like it so the vid i mean the music so it's there so that is it guys this is how you do your outro now i know why you are here you want to know how to actually end on this box this box that is on the screen like you want to add a uh, another video that you would like to show it could be your recent video that you've just uploaded or you want to show that you have other interesting videos or whatever how to do that we are getting there but the first step is done how to do outro we are done here now what we are going to do right now since we are done you check the top of the screen there's the arrow facing the left side then there's edit and then there's this okay this mark like correct you click there because you are done with your outro now it's exporting what we're gonna do now after this we're gonna merge this outro to the video that we have already prepared that we're gonna upload on our youtube channel let me just let it export okay so our outro is done what i'm going to do right now i'm gonna go to my to my uh, power director because this is what i use to edit my videos you can use any app that you like that you use to inst to upload your videos on youtube it can be kinemaster it can be vlogmaster power director like i am using in short it's up to you now i want to match my outro that we just did to the video that we want to upload so let's go I, power director in my case your case can be different okay now we go to new project because i just want to add that a uh, new project is project um, out through okay and then you just choose the aspect ratio i always take this 16 19 now what we're gonna do i'm gonna just choose any video just any video that i want it doesn't matter okay i just want to see what is it hello guys you're welcome thank you so much for clicking okay, and me. thank you for staying so i will just choose this video i'll edit here okay so i've chosen the video that i would like to upload on on my uh, youtube channel this is the one okay after that one now you keep uh, shifting so that you can come to the end what we want to do now we want to add the outro that we have just uh, finished doing with our intro maker now i come here again and click and then i have to check for the outro let me see if it's this one you have to be okay this is the one all right so i edit it's there 
so what i'm gonna do now i have to play the video to really see if really i i did the job so hello guys i walk okay it's the one i'm just i'll just forward it so that you can quickly go to the outro because this is what i was actually saying so, okay phone or okay let's do like this screen of my phone okay so our outro is there yeah okay with that one what we need to do right now is to produce the video because we want to upload this video on our youtube channel so i click here then i'll, I'll click uh, share on youtube i just have to select resolution then click next okay is uh, I'll say testing tutorial okay description outro okay I'll just leave it unlisted because I don't uh, want to publicize it on my channel right now. It's just I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. So I'll just leave it as unlisted and then you upload. In your case, you just have to come to privacy and click public. But in this case, I'll just leave it like this. And now I upload. Uploading on YouTube. This video is ready to be watched. Now, what we need to do is to, because I'm using my mobile phone, is to go to our um, Chrome. That is, all right, now we want to open our Chrome, click there, and then you go to YouTube. If you don't have it, you will have to type on this search box, YouTube, and then you click on YouTube. Next, you will have to sign into your account if you have not signed in yet. In my case, I'm already signed in. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna click on the three dots on my top right, that is the menu bar, and then look for desktop site and click on it. Now, I have to click again on the profile picture or my profile photo, yeah? And then look for YouTube Studio and click on it, okay? next step is to click on videos now look on your left hand side you see your profile picture you see the red box and then this other box that has one on top of it that is video click on the videos we are looking for the video that i've all uploaded earlier on now click on the video okay that's the video on the left hand side is the details about this video but look on your right hand side look on your right hand side i'm looking for end screen click on end screen it has a pencil on the right of it just click the end screen okay the end screen uh, now i have to choose the sample that I like, the sample that will correspond to the 
out through that I've uploaded earlier or the one that I've matched with the video. So you can check now. As you can see, we have many options, but just pay attention. The one that you had, what does it look like? Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to choose this one. Just pick any one that you want for your video. But remember how your intro looks like. So I'm going to choose this one, the very first one. Let's choose that one. Yeah, you can see it's in. But please pay attention because you don't want the loading of this end screen to be on the actual video that we've merged with the outro. So... If you can see just down, there's a video symbol and then there's a music symbol. Look across next to the plus. There's a vertical line there and it has a ball on top like a, set, a circle. Just start shifting that, uh, that vertical line. Start shifting it, you're going to see it's moving. It's the line that I'm shifting, it's moving. Why am I shifting it? I want to put it exactly to where I want the end screen to start. That is where my outro is. So start shifting it. As we are shifting, you're going to see that it's counting time for you. Okay, let's do it. There it is. Let's say I want it to start here. That's where I'll put it. As you can see now, also the screen has changed. Remember our outro, how it looks like. Now what we need to do right now is to try and position it. You see the my profile picture is close to that circle. Now we want to position it to be in that circle exactly, plus the other box from the sample to fit in the one of our intro. It's just a matter of touching and shifting it the way you want it to be. It's it's not gonna be easy because I'm using a phone. Maybe if it's a laptop, it would have been easy. But you just try your best. I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm just showing you how it's done. I know that when you are doing it on your own, it will be very easy. As you can see, my picture is inside. Now, uh, I'll just try to move the uh, the box. As you can see, it's running away. And that uh, vertical line again, it has shifted. Just try to uh, pay attention every time. Just. Take it back to where you want it to be. Okay. Let me just try to put it inside just a little again. Okay, let me just leave it here before I spoil it. All right, guys. So that is my outro. Now, maybe you want to add your most recent video anyhow, but just look on your right, on your left hand side. Let's see. There are some options that you can choose from here. As you can see. You see? It says most recent upload. You can click there. Now it will take you to your video that you have just uploaded. Or best for viewer, it depends. If you click there, you'll see what comes up. Or you want to choose a specific video. It depends on you again, all right? So let's, um, let's just go with the most recent upload. Let's see how it's going to be. The one that is already there. Or we can try all of them. Let's see. Now, you can see it says here, video, most recent upload. Now, when we are playing this video, it will show the video that I have uploaded last, okay? Again, I said, if you want, you can change to best for viewer. So, YouTube will choose the video that had the highest, uh, maybe, views. Or, yes, the one that the viewers liked most. Let's try that one. Let me click here. I click OK. So let's see. Best for the viewer. It will write it here. Or you can choose by yourself which one you want. Let's, you still select. Now, the next step here is uh, remember, there's the timing here. Everything is here. Oh, 0, 0.056. That is where. That is where your that is where your outro will start. Now you save all of these changes. That is our outro with the the other video that you want to show. It will it, it will show out once you are playing the video. So let's just save this job and then go to see if whatever I've been seeing is really through okay let me just shift it a bit 
All right. And we save. The job is now saved. What I'm going to do right now, I will just close this. I'm moving from here right now. Right? And I'll go to my YouTube app here. I want to go and open the video and see if it will play. Let me just click on my channel. Yes. Click on videos. This is the video. Now we want to see the outro with the end screen. Remember to make it public when you're posting it. For me, it's still unlisted because I'm just doing the tutorial. So let me click. Let's just play it. Hello, guys. You're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking and thank you for staying to anyway. watch this video. God bless you. So in this video, I would like to show you how to make an outro using Intro Maker app. I just forwarded it so that we can quickly go to the end screen. Now go to my app. Let me find it on the screen of my phone. But as you can see, if I click here now, when I clicked on that box, it took me to my recent video. Yeah, so, so yes, guys. It is done. Our work is okay. Though I noticed that my timing was not so so accurate for for the end screen to start so what you're gonna do again you just gonna be you keep on playing with the app until you get the perfect results so i think this is uh, that is it we have come to the end of our video i can show you again what i was talking about let's check because i want you to see that in this video that we have played at the end, when I clicked on that box, it took me to this video, to my most recent uh, video, okay? If you still clicked on different options that we talked about, it will still take you to that video that we have linked to your end screen, okay? Let's do it again. I'm going to lower the volume so Hello, that, guys. Uh, it does not distract us. I'm just going to forward it for you to see what I was talking about, that I, I kind of missed the timing for the end screen to start but nonetheless the job was done you'll be able to you see it's coming here it's not supposed to be here it's supposed to be a bit uh, like now that's it and now for the most recent video i'm supposed to click on here then it will take me to the video that um, i recently uploaded and that's it guys yes i hope you were able to understand everything that i said and yeah thank you for clicking and thank you for staying to watch the video thank you for liking please leave a comment in case you don't understand anything and please do share this video out and god bless you